Good morning, everybody. <laughs> Jameson's still asleep, so I brought Jasper in their room to play a little bit. It's a mess in here, so I think I'm gonna try to pick up in here a little bit. There's baby Jess hanging out among all these toys. <laughs> Say hi. Hi. So yeah, we'll try to have a little bit of playtime while Jameson sleeps. And then when he wakes up, we usually either have some screen time or playtime. And when they're ready for breakfast, they'll, he'll, he'll usually let me know Jameson will. And I will get something ready for them. Jameson just woke up and literally his first words were, Are we going to Disneyland? <laughs> I don't know what you're telling your kids or your younger family members, but I just recently started telling him that there are some germs that are out there and that's why school is closed and Disneyland is closed and the movie theater is closed, etc. because they need to keep everyone safe and keep everyone clean. <laughs> These are cute. What are you eating? We're already having an emotional morning here. Welcome to quarantine. On your plate, buddy. Right here. Right there. Put it right there. Right there. Why don't you like that? And this kid's down here. This is the reality. <laughs> Having a meltdown because... <laughs> Having a meltdown because I told him to keep those pieces of bread on his plate and put it on his plate and now he's having a meltdown. I put Jasper in his seat while he plays with his fork. <laughs> and I try to feed him. I know I'm not the only mom going through this right now, but man, this is tough. <laughs> now that you've calmed down, what are you eating? Peanut butter. Peanut butter on what? And toast. Is it yummy? Yeah. Okay, good. And I got you a napkin so you can wipe your face. <laughs> and this kid I think is also gonna have I think a banana. Banana. So Jasper's favorite, one of his favorites is bananas. So he, he's much more into the banana than he is the toast. So I'm just gonna let him uh, eat most of that first. <laughs> okay, so honestly, it looks like this is gonna end up being my breakfast because Jasper's just way more into the banana right now. And I think I'm gonna make some coffee too, if I can get around to it. Oh man. Welcome to the morning. <laughs> I'm gonna take four of my Alani New Balance supplement with this first meal. Gonna put something on the TV so that the kids can get some dancing in. I think we're gonna do the Disney Junior Dance Party. This is going to be my before shot of the mess. Oh my gosh, this is a disaster up here. It's just kind of become a catch-all for everything. The kitchen, since I had to go pick up Amy so late last night. Hello, hi, wow. I'm embarrassed to even put this on there, but this is hopefully gonna be the before. All these are clean in here, so I need to empty this, get this situated, and get this all situated so yeah stay tuned thank you for whoever filmed the disney junior dance party from disneyland to put on youtube because this kid can get some energy out and he loves it so now i clean great as long as jasper doesn't come in and bug me i can get this done fairly quickly <laughs> I can really only unload the dishes when he's distracted because he'll come up and start like playing on it and try to climb up here and stuff but I'm almost finished I just have the silverware and stuff so this is fine the clean dishes are emptied but I don't want to load the dirty ones while he's in here because he'll just play with them and there's quite a few and he'll just get kind of all dirty and yucky and so I'll wait on that and I'll move on to something else vitamin okay what do you say Here they are. Want me to open it for you? Good luck. He'll be back in like 30 seconds because he won't be able to open it. Good girl. What do you need? You need me to open it? Told ya. I had to pull my hair back because I'm a little bit warm, but another video for the wind. For the wind? <laughs> another video for the win. The boys are now watching a video of the Disneyland train that somebody filmed and it's like the entire thing and they're both just sitting so still watching it. Right? 
now's my chance to load these dirty dishes. <laughs> is done next up i'm going to wipe down this whole counter space and sink area then i'm going to move on up to this mess <laughs> up here and just get it organized but first what's wrong booby doo i might make some coffee while i hold him because he's a little moody All right, someone's being a little moody, but um, we're still watching Disneyland videos because that's what this kid is into right now. So I could try to get this done. So I just changed his diaper. He's a little bit moody. I'm gonna have to hold him while I wipe down this area. The bathroom trash is full and the diaper pail is full, so I'm gonna tackle all that right now. Bathroom trash. Check. Kitchen trash. Check. Diaper pail. Check. <laughs> it's all gloomy. Look at those rain clouds up there. <laughs> But it's still a little bit wet out here, but we're gonna hang out here for a bit. My dad's here. He's gonna hang out here with them on our lovely balcony while I finish some stuff inside. Go faster! Okay, might as well before the rain comes in in a few hours. I haven't touched any of the stuff in here really, but um, it's coming along up here. That's <laughs> what I'm in the middle of organizing. And the kitchen looks decent. I mean, it's not 100%, but the space is a little bit more clear and manageable. Okay, um, yeah, it's officially like pouring down rain. So I need to take these to the dumpster so they don't get all wet. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna do that really quick and then I'll come back upstairs. So much we're having outside time. And I mean, we got maybe like 10 minutes and now it's like pouring rain. This is such a weird time in the world, Dick, guys. It's just like, Super weird, everything. Okay, what are we snacking on? Show me what's in your bowl. Blueberries. Yeah, Jasper too? Not gone. <laughs> okay, so it's 11.45. Jasper's napping. And look, this is some crazy ass weather. The freaking sun is out again. What the heck? So, made myself a little sandwich for lunch. My dad grabbed some of this French bread, and it's the one that they like make fresh in the store. And I feel like if I don't use it quickly, it gets hard and stale. So, I'm gonna eat this while Jasper naps. Then I'll get back to organizing, picking up the house. I'm trying to edit this vlog, and look who's awake. No, sir, you cannot just push it to the corner and do that. Okay, so both boys are awake now. Today's not really looking like a very structured day. The weather's real weird. It was sunny and then raining and then sunny again and now it's raining again. So we're not gonna get to go on our daily walk that we've been going on or play outside and ride bikes and stuff, which kind of helps break up the day. So I might put together some worksheets for Jameson to work on, but for now I'm going to make him lunch. He has requested turkey on toast, AKA a sandwich. So I'm gonna get that ready right now. But what are you having for your snack after lunch? Yeah. Friends eat yummy? Puffy. Puffy. Puffies. 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 Uh, but I need, Jameson wanted toast, so I toasted bread and put butter on it, yay! and then put turkey and cheese on it. And Papa ate the I'm sandwich like puffy. I did, and puffies. He gave him two. <laughs> yeah. Did you share your puffies? Yeah. Good job. And Jasper ate his half of the sandwich, yeah, and now he's having strawberries. Yummy. So we just hand wrote this. What are you going to practice? Writing your what? Um, oh. Let me get your crayon. What color? Um, 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 blue. He wants to color too. <laughs> okay, I'll give you blue. Good job. Someone was jealous. Yay. 
No, that's the A. And then M. Good job. E. S. Good job. O. N. Good job, you guys. <laughs> no, I gotta eat them. Okay, but count it in Spanish. I did it. You did do it. I just counted all 10 in English and Spanish, and I didn't get it on video. Uno, dos, tres, cuatro. No, now he's too busy eating them. <laughs> Yeah. I need to get Jameson to do this pop sugar family workout with me. And of course, he would rather beat up his brother instead. This is quarantine, real life right here. Come on. Switch legs. Do it with me. He literally wants something to do with it. I'm about to get into a plank. I'm dying. I'm so out of shape. Oh, okay, it's like a 10 minute like family workout, but I'm so out of shape. Jasmine helped me. High five. <laughs> he thought it was so funny. Whew, okay. 78 calories in 10 minutes. Not bad. We are for the 45th time today, brushing our teeth. And, oh my God, I need to clean this mirror so bad. It is... 3.54, Amy was supposed to be home from work nearly an hour ago, and honestly, all I wanna do right now is open a white cloth. I'm, gonna, I'm keeping it real with you guys. It has been a day, and even though my dad came over and helped with the boys, it's still like trying to entertain these two all day. Like, teachers should make like 10 billion trillion dollars a year, honestly. Daycare workers and preschool teachers and everybody on the list, <sighs> like for real. People who care for children. <laughs> I don't know, I'm sure there are some of you out there who experience at a certain time of the day in this, being confined to your home, especially with young children, you just kind of like reach your limit, like you need to decompress and kind of like start over in a sense. And I'm at that limit right now. Like, I just feel like little things are gonna set me off. I'm getting frustrated easily. I'm no longer feeling motivated and in a good mood. I'm just kind of like, okay, this is like day over yet, you know? I'm gonna try to take the kids outside for a little bit, even though it's wet, and just kind of let them do their thing. And hopefully Amy will be home soon and we can put them in the bath after that. And I don't know, maybe go for a drive, something. Just kind of looking for some kind of something to refresh the day. Jasper just pooped for the third time, so I'm gonna change his diaper. Literally, I just got him dressed and then he pooped and that was kind of like, ugh, really? So I'm gonna change him and then we're gonna head down to the garage for a little bit. So wait, where I was going with that is if you do have those moments where you feel like you're hitting that wall, what do you do to kind of bring yourself out of it or make things feel better again, kind of uplift you a little? What do you do? Leave it down in the comments. Maybe we can help each other in this. Find some idea we didn't think of, some way that somebody else does things that might help us feel better or renew our drive. Comment below. And it's raining again, but you know what? We're gonna go out there anyway, at least down to the garage to get his baby doll. Good job. That's something I've been doing to kill the time, making him go find stuff. <laughs> That's Jasper's, give me yours. Okay. Thank you. Well, it's wet and it's rainy, but being out here, Definitely feels better. He just hit the wiffle ball with the bat and now he's bringing it back. Bring it over here so I can throw it again. And he's wearing his crown that he found that he made at school for Valentine's Day. Oh! Look who's home. What? <laughs> We're not playing cricket. Come on. Mm -mm. Right here. Oh, yeah. Definitely playing cricket. Yep. <laughs> Amy's unpacking her suitcase. <laughs> Show me what you've totally got. Right now. So, you know, I, I thought about bringing home my wife a beautiful, like, piece of jewelry because they had them there and they were beautiful, but I forgot how to tell if it's real silver. Uh -huh. There's a way to tell. We have so a dozen home toilet paper rolls. Some toilet paper roll. And this was, like, seriously, the largest quantity of, of pieces, right? Because I could tell. 320. Like, it's like the thickest roll. Yeah, because yeah. they had lots of toilet paper in the grocery store. You're a little picky about your toilet paper. Well, this isn't for me. I thought we were getting this to be the... the this is the toilet paper that we give to our neighbors when they need something. Oh, okay. 
That's, that's, that's what I, I thought. Up. Hope the neighbors don't watch this. No, no, <laughs> it's kidding. not bad. I got kidding. good stuff, but I couldn't, I mean, I probably... So you're denying that you're picky about the toilet paper you use. I'm very picky about Thank the you. toilet paper that we use. So I found masks at one pharmacy. Pharmacy. <laughs> and they had one, two, three, four. Now, they're not N95, but they're small. And that would be good for the boys if okay. we had to. So then I got rubbing alcohol because you can't find rubbing alcohol anywhere. And some aloe so we can make our own home sanitizer. And then I brought home Benadryl. <laughs> that is the haul. Hold on, did you already record this portion? No. This oh, God, this is the moneymaker right here. So my wife is a Nacho Libre <laughs> fan. And Luke, Jameson, let's put it on. Yeah. Now you can scare me. Ah! This was my intoxicated purchase at the airport because I drank a grande mojito. <laughs> I drank a grande mojito before getting on the air airplane. And these look so cool because you can't see, but this is like, like it's not. What in the heck were you thinking? <laughs> Aren't these beautiful? Tell them, tell them more about the shirt. You got four of them. You got one for each of us so we I can did. walk around Disneyland or something what? in matching shirts. Aren't they beautiful though? Look, I, got, I got one for England. I got one for me. Right, oh my God, it's so big. On Oh my God. <laughs> it's freaking massive. It's huge. This Here. Are you serious? Yeah. I'm it so covers my entire torso and my crotch. That's perfect. Usually it's like this you, thing. you can wear it as a skirt. <laughs> anyway, that's that's her Mexico haul. It's pretty funny. I got everyone matching shirts and she got a wallet. Did you like your wallet at least? Oh, yeah. You didn't like your wallet? Babe? Well, I mean, yeah, it's all right. All right, guys, it's white claw clock. It's like quarantine happy hour. Cheers. Oh, baby, cheers. Love hers you. and hers. I love you so much. Thank love you. Love you. Mwah. Okay, Jameson saw me pull out this seaweed snack, and he says he wants one. He's never had it before. Take a bite. <laughs> no? Are you sure? <laughs> he smelled it, and he got a weird look. And then he tried to take a bite, and he was like, no. Here. <laughs> We're eating some of the leftover soup from oh last night. Oh, my God. Morning. It's so good. Jameson's watching Little Einsteins when this kid is hot. nursing. It's like just chicken, vegetables? Uh, yeah, it's just chicken and vegetable. It's amazing. I was going to add green lentils, but there wasn't enough room in the pot. So it's just kind of a My throw wife together is such soup. a homemaker. She even baked us bread. <laughs> Liar. <laughs> Got my soup's over here. My white claw's over here, but here we are. <laughs> so here we are on the couch. Having both just cried <laughs> after watching uh, Gavin Newsom's press conference and then having both boys asleep on us, by the way, and then watching more news because Amy has not watched any of the news. She's been in Mexico. So this is kind of like her, like, she's being broken into all of this. It's going to be okay. Now she turned on Housewives, which is a good idea because we need to, like, <laughs> lighthearted crappy reality tv just so much it just it's a lot but the beautiful part was the music and how that brings people together and that's just yeah it's so sad that it's taking like something like this to bring our people like people together yeah. you know regardless of their political standing or whatever you know Oh my god, I just can't believe I think that. that that's kind of what makes me feel better is like think about because this is gonna pass, there will be a day where this will be behind us. This is just a moment in time, you know? Think about it. We're gonna go outside and everything is gonna seem like so much more beautiful. Jameson's gonna be even more excited to go to school. We're gonna be stoked to freaking walk to the park or get a slice of pizza at the pizza place or go to the beach or do these things, you know? It's yeah. gonna make us realize all the things that we've taken for granted this whole time. So it, that I think that 
when I feel myself get to my most like anxious and worried self, those thoughts kind of like reassure me that everything will eventually be okay and it'll be even more beautiful than it was before, you know? I know it's a lot. It's a lot. It's interesting seeing you like hear and see and realize all this for the first time. You know, so much it's like, can you see, five days. can you see why I was like emotional and kind of at my wits end? Like today when, when you were coming home from work and I was like, I, I can't get into something with you right now. Oh, like yeah. this is like, oh, yeah. you know, it's bigger than us. It's bigger than this. It's bigger than the kids. I, it's it, like, I, I can recognize more clearly now the level of sensitivity I, I need to have. And yeah. with, like, I, I, I did, it's tough. This is so hard. And it's I just, unprecedented. I, oh, and totally, all, like, totally. Even your parents' lives. And they're, I think they're the oldest people that I know, yeah, personally. And I can't see them. I can't yeah. see them now because yeah. I've been out of the country. It's, just, it's too overwhelming. It's a lot. But I'm in a box. I'm in an office all by myself. If I have to bring a porta potty in my office, I will. I'm <laughs> I not, know. I'm not worried about it. I've camped oh, in the middle of nowhere. Man. I'm fine with peeing in a bucket. That got emotional really fast. Yeah. All right. I love you, honey. I, lo I love you, too. Okay, guys. So as you saw, after that little press conference with Gavin Newsom, Amy and I were both a bit emotional. The boys are asleep on the couch. I just came back to use the bathroom. But now I think we're just gonna spend some time together as a family, let this all sink in. And actually right after that, Amy got the phone call that she's officially working from home. So I'm actually super thankful about that. But anyway, I think I'm gonna conclude this vlog. It was more emotional than usual. And I think we're gonna have some more emotional days to come, but the silver lining in this is that we're all in this together. And I think it's the first time in a really long time that we've felt that sense of solidarity and togetherness. And it's funny because we're all far away from everyone else. Like we're all locked in our own homes. So it's kind of poetic. It's crazy interesting. I'm worried, I'm scared, but I'm also maintaining my composure and trying to be as hopeful as possible. So we will check in very soon. I hope everyone out there is staying safe and staying healthy and staying sane, and we'll talk to you guys soon.